Hi students, welcome to the online classes on machine learning. This class is all about the basic terminologies which comes very frequently when you are learning the machine learning. The first word which comes very frequently is a hypothesis. So by the end of this tutorial, it is possible for you to know the two terminologies that is hypothesis as well as hypothesis space. So what is hypothesis is, in the machine learning, we use this terminology to find the function that best maps input to output. There were our inputs and outputs have been provided and we are supposed to apply the function which is able to get the output for the given inputs. And from this hypothesis, it is possible for you to assume which function is best suitable for it. This hypothesis is also called function approximation because we are approximating a target function that best maps feature to the target is. Most of the times we use a symbol, small h, that signifies the hypothesis. It can be a single model that maps features to the a target is. Let's say example to understand this concept is. Running five miles per day results in the reduction of 10 kg of weight within a one month suggested by a doctor. So what do you have the hypothesis in this one is, a doctor is suggesting to the one particular person, you just go for a walk five miles for every day. It is possible for you to reduce the 10 kg. Now, at the end of the one month, is it possible, really possible to get 10 kg less weight? The chances are there, at the same time, there are no chances also. There is a risk here now. What type of risk is involved is, suppose the person is eating more, because I'm going for a walk, let me have more eating, then it is not possible to get the 10 kgs of reduction. So the hypothesis is suggesting us, go for this is called everyday five meals, it is possible to reduce the 10 kg of the existing weight. The next term is hypothesis space. There are possible hypotheses available, the hypoth legal hypothesis, and you can consider it is a set, which machine learning algorithm would determine the best possible, describe the target function or the outputs. It is a complete range of models and their possible parameters that can be used to model the data. And in this case of hypothesis space, we are going to use capital H. And simple to understand this concept is, hypothesis is a subset of hypothesis space. To understand more understanding this entire, the two terminologies, let's have a one diagram is. There is a target function, T, X to Y. This is the function we have. And there are values available, X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X and Yn. This is the training set there is a training set have been provided. And a lot of legal models, whatever we have, all available in hypothesis. We are picking the one model and using this particular example and preparing algorithm. An algorithm is prepared. From this one, we are identifying the final hypothesis. One more, let's see that. This is unknown target function. And we have training examples, hypothesis, a learning algorithm develop and final hypothesis, we got it. In this one example is credit approval function, historical records of credit customers and set of credit functions are there and final credit approval formula is developed. So that's all about this particular classes. Next class we'll have a look into the other topic is. Thank you very much.